Hey everyone, I'm Steve and welcome to the Agile Lean Gardener and this is your Agile Thought for the day. So, how much does a Scrum Master cost? Well, let's talk about it and I think the answer might just surprise you. Now, I think this is an interesting question. We tend to think of this in terms of how much an organisation will have to pay to employ a Scrum Master or how much the Scrum Master thinks they're worth, but there's a different way of looking at this cost the organization and the team by employing the wrong person. Now, employing the wrong person can be many times more expensive than just their salary. So why is that? Well, it's because the value in a Scrum Master is not facilitating Scrum events or quoting Parrot Fashion the Scrum Guide. Now, if that's what you want, then literally anyone can do that. After all, it's just meetings and a 13-page document. Now, don't get me wrong, good facilitation is a skill, but that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about those people who just show up and run a meeting without really being present or adding any value. I'll ensure you've met a few of them. Now, the value in a Scrum Master is to help the team and organisation deliver tangible value and positive outcomes to clients and customers. And they can do this by identifying issues and ways of working, both at the team and organisational level, working with the right people to solve them. And not by any mystic Yoda-like psycho battle, but through solid research, presenting their findings in a logical way, using the language that fits the audience. A language that the business will understand. Profit and loss, increase, decrease value. They should be data-led. And value in a Scrum Master is to help the team be more predictable, to be able to provide leadership with realistic forecasts for delivery. Not to quote some silly, outdated notion that it will be done when it's done because we're agile. I really can't believe that was ever acceptable, and it certainly isn't in 2023. Costs matter, budgets matter. There are lots of ways a Scrum Master can do this. Cycle time and Monte Carlo simulation, for starters. And a Scrum Master should be able to confidently work with their product owner, helping them to shape the backlog to be coherent with a purpose through its vision, goals and roadmap, which in turn helps the team to shape each sprint with a specific goal helping the team deliver value and the organization with positive outcomes to its clients and customers. And the Scrum Master should be able to work at all levels, influencing and persuading the organization to make improvements through actively listening to stakeholders with empathy and humility, using foresight and stewardship. And the Scrum Master role should be quantifiable, measurable. Heresy, I hear you cry. No, not at all. Look, I can't think of many or any roles where you're not measured in any way. How can you show that you're valuable if you're not measurable? Our KPIs can give many in this game a short, sharp shock, but I'd suggest that this is needed as a, there are far too many Scrum Masters out there who just turn the wheel delivering no value and not doing our profession any favors. So for example, the number of positive improvements made, an increase in predictability, an increase in customer satisfaction, either through direct feedback or metrics like increased views, subscriptions or revenue, or increased psychological safety, measured through engagement and collaboration. You know, how open and honest are, are the conversations? And these are just a few ways you can measure. Now, if you want to get a scrum master on the cheap, then you're going to get a sheep, someone who just follows others, unable to make a positive impact. A scrum master role is a servant leadership position I don't fall into the trap of reading servant and thinking they're there to carry out menial tasks. This is a leadership position. Now you need someone with the, the gravitas to implement change and help steer the organization to business agility. So think about that when setting the salary and put the effort in to recruit wisely. But returning to the question, how much does a Scrum Master cost? Well, if you don't hire the right Scrum Master, it can cost an awful lot more than the salary paid through poor delivery, a lack of focus, slow change, and the same set of dissatisfied stakeholders and customers, not to mention the cost of removing them from the organization. So the old adage, you get what you pay for, springs to mind. If you're gonna pay peanuts, you're gonna get a monkey. So organizations, take the time to understand what the Scrum Master is there to do and how they can help you. If you don't, then you're as culpable as Scrum Masters who just facilitate events, and frankly, you deserve each other. As always, please like and subscribe if this has provided you any value. Your support really makes a huge difference to the community. Thank you. And a special thank you to everyone who's already subscribed. Your support makes a difference. Now, if you'd like to find out the positive value Scrum Masters can provide if you're going through a transformation, then check this video out. Okay, that is it for this one. Thank you very much for watching. Stay safe, stay humble, and I'll have another agile thought for you next Thursday. That's right, we are weekly now.